welcome to another Westworld recap review. This is for season two, episode six. This will contain spoilers going forward. This episode's timeline was heavily muddled, but I will jump to the main points. So let's cut straight to the jugular here. So Ford isn't dead. Well, his human body may long, no longer be functioning and may have a smidge of decay, but his consciousness has been uploaded to the cradle. We see the cradle as a simulation of Westworld and in the cradle, we see Ford's dog lead Bernard directly to Ford. So the cradle itself we find out is a backup for the hosts, but also a hive mind like data center. Uh, that's right, some people don't like the way my accent sounds when I say data, so let me just adjust my narrative to suit. So data, data, da data. So also a hive mind like data center, all of them alive in it at the same time. So this full situation is really now detailed out around Ford and Bernard's mysterious activity in that lab. So the lab where William was re recreating James Delos. So the story goes, just prior to the revolution which Ford started, Ford sent Bernard to create his control unit and destroy the laboratory. When Bernard created the control unit, once again, he destroyed the lab. Then we see him take that control unit into the cradle. That is how we have seen Ford continue to interact with William after his death. And it is how the Parks Code keeps learning and, and reacting to the defense teams trying to override it. And ultimately, why the cradle seems to have been destroyed, probably to stop Ford himself. So we see Bernard and Elsie reach the Mesa there and discover the situation as I previously mentioned. So my first assumption would be that Bernard ends up being forced to kill Elsie, then Bernard destroys the cradle itself. But that's drawing a long bow from what we know so far. But now let's move on to the next characters we see. So we're seeing a real slow confluence of timelines here. So we have Dolores and Teddy, Bernard and Elsie, and Ashley and Charlotte Hale, all now at the Mesa. I'd also assume that in the next episode, they're all going to actually meet or interact with each other. So speaking of those characters, so we see Dolores and Teddy kamikaze that train right down the gullet of the Mesa. So Teddy's behavior is very interesting as well since his update last episode. So Teddy is now brutal, so he's so cold and emotionless, except when it comes to Dolores. I think Teddy remembers what she has done to him. If anything, I get the feeling he hates her more than anybody else. We also see Ashley Stubbs return from the Ghost Nation capture. So remember, he escaped, well, he was freed from the Ghost Nation, and he meets up with Charlotte Hale, whom has just captured Abernathy, so when she steals Abernathy from Dolores. So they can finally activate the rescue team and get out of there. So the rescue team arrives as we see. So as I said, those three storylines are really coming together. I'd say next episode is when they all really meet up. But something to remember here from the future storyline. So the storyline we've seen with Carl Strand, Bernard and Ashley when, when it starts on the beach and they're working their way towards the Mesa. So we know that Ashley and Charlotte Hale and Bernard possibly not in his original host, they're all survivors, so they're all still there in that storyline in the future. But what has happened to Elsie? Where is Dolores? And it looks like that Teddy does perish, well his host body does anyway. So on to our other storylines. So let's move on to Maeve and her band of followers. So we see Maeve helps Arcana get closure, and then they all go their separate ways. It was an emotional farewell, so, but let's hope we do see those characters again. So we see Maeve actually finally reaches her daughter. And as one would assume, her daughter has been reprogrammed to have a different mother. But then things get rudely interrupted by the Ghost Nation. Really unsure of the Ghost Nation's motives at that point. I mean, they appear more and more mysterious as we go along. They did enter the scene with their weapons drawn, charging on horseback. So what that would imply general violence, but also at the same time, they do say we are meant for the same path, which would suggest a different motive. And that is where that character is left for this week. So now on to William, so the man in black. So we continue to learn more about him and his daughter. Initially, he thinks his daughter may be a host sent to him by Ford, but we learn of her motives. So she was invited to the park by Charlotte Hale to attend the gala, but she decided to shove it and she just takes it as a trip, as a free trip to the park. But we learn that she is trying to help her father. So she wants to stop him dying, suicide by robot she calls it, which is definitely an interesting way to look at his reckless behavior as a, as a way to just kill himself. So Grace mentions, I'll still call her Grace even though 
she's not renamed herself again yet, but she initially introduced herself to us as Grace. So she mentions to William that her mother's death was not his fault. Um, so she's really trying to help him out there, so trying to bring him home. Then they do agree that they'll work together and go home, but then as it's pretty obvious that he's not going to listen to her, and at the end he, he escapes in the night. So really unsure of how Grace will continue now, will she continue trying to help her father, or will she go her separate ways? And now moving on to the final scene I want to talk about. So it was actually the very first scene, so the intro scene. We open the show with the most advanced storyline in this episode which has been done a few times now with this show. We have been shown scenes like this one before. Arnold saying, I'm frightened of what you may become. Um, Arnold has a choice to make. If you outgrow us, what will become of you? So then we see Dolores actually take control. So she is testing Bernard's or Arnold's fidelity at that point. Same as what William was doing with his father-in-law, James Delos, when he was trying to put his consciousness into a host. So perhaps this is a new Bernard with Arnold's consciousness that Dolores is creating. And you can see as well from episode seven trailer, there are many Bernard hosts are available to use. So is this actually Arnold in Bernard's host body here? Is the Bernard we eventually see waking up on the beach in the very first episode actually Arnold that Dolores has made? So in summary, I did really enjoy this episode. A lot more learning points about the plot as it all unfolds around us. Character evolution continues amazingly. I did feel though, there's a few scenes with Maeve that really did feel slightly out of place with this episode. The farewell scene with Akana and the arrival at her daughter's house seemed slightly protracted than what was required. The scene when she Maeve spoke to her daughter was good, just the build up seemed a little labored. But I'll just leave this recap here. So I will go in depth into some theories about this episode in my theories video. So subscribe to the channel and you'll get an update when that comes out. But I'll work on that over the next day or two. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this little recap review. So leave your thoughts below, thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time, this is Mesh and I'll see you later.